you know, uh, contemporary Aboriginal artists today are multidisciplinary and we come from that. You know, when we look back on our mentors, uh, you look at uh, Joan Cardinal Schubert, you look at uh, Robert Houle, you look at these artists that were curators, they were writers, um, and they were arts administrators. I grew up with, with those mentors and I think that was my driving force in, in terms of how I approached my art practice. I, I don't just uh, stay locked in my studio and uh, just focus on, on one thing. I want to be involved in, in moving the community forward. I want to be part of that art history. I want to be part of bringing uh, artists, uh, uh, younger artists up into our contemporary uh, community. But I'm looking at the, what I, I do is looking at those traditional arts and looking at, uh, at how often the anthropo anthropological perspective puts our art in a stasis, in a historical stasis. And uh, for myself, um, I like to challenge that. So for example, I do traditional beadwork and uh, then I've now moved into taking uh, electronic components like capacitors and resistors and turning those into uh, a floral motif. So I'm really looking at the bead as the pixel, showing that you know our culture has never been in a stasis. Because really, when you think about the bead, that is a, that is an introduction. That's a trade item that came in from Europe. We used in, in the Great Lakes area. We used quill work, and uh, when beads were introduced, we embraced that technology. So I think uh, as uh, as Aboriginal people, we've always been innovative and we've infused our own cultural aesthetic into no matter what medium we move into. And today with the digital age, you can see that people are in digitizing that space. It's a commentary on how, again, our cultures are uh, moving forward and have always been in a state of change.